Good morning. Some of you know that uh, I've been through a really rough time since uh, mid-February. Married for over 65 years and my wife passed away. And I know it's very important to work through your grief. Uh, I've got the background as, as a pastor for over 40 years and um, I've got a degree in counseling, marriage and family counseling. And uh, as a human being, and, and I've done enough research in, on uh, death and dying, and I know how important it is to, to go through that grief work. And as I've been going through it over the past couple weeks, or maybe pretty close to two months now, uh, I, I run across passages that have got sentences in it that are enough to, to get me into uh, deep uh, grief. Uh, they kind of point out the fact that while you're alive, you had all the love you needed, and now that she's gone, you have all the grief you needed. And uh, it's pretty rough stuff. And as I began uh, working that, I began thinking about the fact that when I was in the, the pastor, we had a, a man came through who was in the parish and a sensible person. And he told me that he had an out-of-body experience. And um, he said, uh, there's a whole crew of these people that have written these things up and they can't all have been uh, phony or made up or something like that. Uh, but there's, there's a lot of evidence that there is an out-of-body experience that you can have. And uh, he talked about it and the people that he actually met when he was up there that, that had passed away. And uh, it's interesting that Anita, as a, as a nurse, uh, went to a client that had a, a out-of-death experience while she was serving. She was work, waiting on her, and um, all of a sudden she started uh, gasping and all, and uh, uh, they just started giving her all sorts of medication, and, and she just died there, and, uh, and they didn't know what to do. She was still working in the training part, so she started plugging in everything she could plug in all over the place, and by golly, this uh, lady came back. And she actually told my wife, Anita, that she had been through a out-of-body experience and, and it sounded very val uh, valuable and uh, viable too. And so uh, in, in going through this, this grief area and uh, doing a lot, of, a lot of grief work, uh, I began wondering, I started praying for Anita who is in heaven. And then I began to thinking, let's see now, um, Anita is in heaven and um, she has basically, uh, when people talk about heaven, they, they have all they need. Um, she really doesn't need me to pray for her over her grief because when you're in heaven, that grief is not going to continue with you. You're going to get out there and, and uh, be in touch with it. And I believe that she uh, is actually praying for me to feel her touch. And by golly, that changes an awful lot of perspective. I, I know that she's in heaven, and I know that she is not in grief, she is in joy, and I know that she is praying for me because she loves me. And uh, I, can, uh, I can feel the grief uh, and the emptiness, but there's another kind of switch within me that I can switch it to, to just kind of sense Anita's love for me and, and her prayers for me. And uh, in one sense, it, it brings a bit of sad, sadness, but it also brings a, a, a lot of love. And the love that I lost when she died, I don't think I can regain all that, but I'm starting to regain a bit of it. And uh, Anita, I don't have to look up. Anita, I can feel your prayers for me and your love.